Hello Virgo, thank you so much for coming to my channel. This is going to be 8-8-2021 uh, reading for you. So let's get started. So thank you for all the views, the likes, subscribes. I appreciate each and every one of you so very much. If you like the way I read, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you, um, although if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you like the way I read, then go ahead and subscribe. That would be awesome. So the first one, Taurus or Virgo. I just did Taurus. Is wisdom. So Virgo, you have wisdom, very and beautiful. So you've learned a lot in this last cycle. It's getting ready to come up on your birthday. So you have learned a lot in the last, like I said, this last year. Work. So you have changed your work, I feel. Work could be anything. Um, it could be a hobby. It could be something you like. It could be a career. So I feel like you have become wise around work in some way. I feel like you um, you switch from something you were doing to something that you enjoy now is what I feel. Oh, maybe I should read those here in a minute. And the next one is good times. So the universe is telling you to go out and be um, have more good times. Like treat yourself to dinner more, it's saying like go out and enjoy yourself more, try to meet new people. So the first one is nine, but of course you have to use your discretion on where you live and the protocol protocol on the safety issue because of the, what's going on in the world right now. So it says number nine, wisdom. Make the most you most of your life you have been searching for your life purpose. This card suggests that you are now very close to finding your purpose and meeting lots of soulmates or like-minded people along the way. A person in authority will offer you sound advice which you should take extremely seriously. Transformation is taking place all around you. The suffering of others touches your soul more than any other time in your life and you may want to help others in any way you can. You will be on a mission of healing others through communication, kind words, or charity work to find inner peace for your soul. Let go of superficial relationships as you look for more soul connections and depth in all relationships. Career, the symbol in, this symbol is an incredible gift from the heavens. Enormous expansion in any work field is helping people is guaranteed. You will benefit from learning new skills, deepening your religious or spiritual values, a career change is likely. You may find you have a way with words and you may write a book which helps others. Ideal time to volunteer or work at a hospital. All right, and then you actually have work. So it's amazing that this one mentioned work and now we're moving to work. So I agree, something um, is turning really beautiful for you. So I thought that was... Um, Trying to find work. Okay, I found it. So patience is needed regarding current setbacks. You have some hard work to do, but you will achieve something shortly that you never thought was possible. Avoid extravagance as there will be debts to be paid and you need to get on top of things. Conflicts to deal with will make you stronger. Don't hold on to disappointments or feelings of resentment as there is no time for this in the successful period that can be yours if you play your cards right. Added responsibilities likely, and beware of unreliable people who could cause delays and problems. Keep plans close to your chest, and any, any misunderstandings need to be dealt with as soon as possible. Be aware affairs around the workplace could get you in trouble. Existing relationships will face struggles around finances, but this will be temporary. Soft confrontations settle differences. So then the last one for you... I believe is 12. It is. You could be the bell of the ball, an excellent time for meeting and connecting with great new people. Invitations will start pouring in, so be prepared to attend a number of glamorous events. People from your past may appear, and reconnections will be fruitful. Family gatherings are guaranteed to create a festive atmosphere, so get ready to enjoy yourself. You can splurge on a new outfit for all these fabulous events or dust off your dance and shoes for a few nights on the town. However you play it, fun times are sure to be had. 
That's funny. Dust off your dancing shoes. I'm doing a reading for Virgo. Virgo's dancing shoes are not dusty. So that's funny. They're in a secure dust-free bag or they're getting used. So stay alert to outstanding opportunities that the time ahead will bring expansion and broadening your horizons. <clears throat> Excuse me. Opportunities to improve your finances and career coming your way. Because of your positive energy, you'll find it easier to present yourself confidently and this confidence will definitely pay off. Your charismatic aura will attract charismatic aura will attract people towards you. Love is set to fizzle if that's what you're after. You will not be short of admirers and people who want to help you reach your goals. You will certainly be in demand socially and your confidence will soar. Lots of spending going on, but what the heck, you're having the time of your life. Boy, I like that. Singles could find soulmates with the like-minded fun types and those unattached will find this a dream time of love and flirtations. Beware of stormy relationships or domineering people who could be jealous of your popularity and try to control you. Avoid getting involved with these types if you can. Of course you can. Alright, so that was really, really good. Beautiful so far. So now I'm going to switch to the um, Divine Animal Oracle. Let's see what comes up right there. Wow. So your career is changing, your work is changing, your money is changing, relationships are changing. So the first one that comes up for you is Equality Seahorse. So this is 14, which if you add 14 would be 5, and 5 has changed to me. So I do feel like there's somebody from the past who wasn't equal in a relationship. They let you do most of the work while they liked it. They liked the work and the effort you put into trying to connect you two. But this person kind of kept your emotions in check, I feel. So they didn't... You're smarter now. This person made you smarter. This person who had you put 100% into the relationship and they really put nothing, they made it very emotional. Um, they made you climb a mountain basically and swim an ocean and they just still kept running I guess. So definitely you're more wise about somebody who wants to do that again. This did talk about old people coming into your life so if this person just happened to show up I can already imagine what Virgos would do. So chameleon, wow, I was thinking about this earlier too, change, look at this beautiful, and it's 33, a double number, which I always say you can te self-teach yourself about the spiritual meaning of numbers, because you can write down notes of why you watch my videos, and then um, Google the number later, and after a month, you sh or a couple months, you will know the meaning when you watch the videos, you won't even have to question or make a list. So this is beautiful. There's change. And you're changing from what you were in the past so much. People won't even recognize you. You are changing. And I almost want to read that. That is 33 and you have 14. Beautiful. Because I think I remember it was really, I read it. Because I told you I was thinking about it. So 33. And it was just beautiful. So, change is a natural part of life, so resistance is futile. Ride the energies of change and know where you are going, then fear will lessen. It is not always wise to just blend in with everyone else. Flexibility in mind and body is advantageous. Do not take too long to make your decision. So, um, the chameleon magic is one of flexibility and coping with change. Call upon the magic of this creature when you wish to have successful change in challenging circumstances and when you wish to know everything you can about a situation prior to moving forward. So I do feel like a, if a lot of you are getting ready to move, you're the kind of person who will Google um, the city, everything about the city you're moving to, everything, the city probably next to it, all the cities next to it. You're definitely our research uh, minded right now, so you have a lot going on. So the next one that comes out for you is happiness. Wow, this is so beautiful, 42. So happiness is coming to you. You are, this is a beautiful card, beautiful. 
a new beginning is coming for you after a really difficult time is what I feel. I see the water here and the water here. And is that water behind her right there? I can't really tell. I think it's just lights. But so I do feel like you did go through a very hard time. Um, this one is 33 and that 42. So let me read 42 real fast just because it's so good. 42. And wasn't this happiness too? Wisdom. Work. And so 42. I'm going to find it. Here it is, Dolphin. Happiness is not a continuous state, although it is worthy feeling to seek. Know what makes you happy and do more of this. Happiness has everything to do with your re bleh, reaction to life rather than what happens to you from outside sources. If you place your happiness solely in the hands of other people, then you will be disappointed. And that is so true. That is so true. It talks about you can make yourself happy. If you put all your thinking and energy into yourself, there's no way you wouldn't be happy. So when you find yourself thinking about other people or negative situations, just revert yourself back. Force yourself to say, oh, and say some positive affirmations to yourself. When you're thinking that, go back to yourself and say, I'm lovable, I am worthy, I am worth um, a beautiful future, whatever you want. I am worth being happy. Just when you find yourself being negative, revert back to happy very quickly. Just stay in a positive mindset. So now I'm going to follow through with the Soul's Journey Lesson Cards. And the first one is Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So I see a lot of healing and a lot of love chakra in there. So Perseverance, obviously you've had to really struggle to get through some situations. Um, you're wiser now. You learned that good lesson. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. So... It's not good to live in regret, but most everybody has regret, things they do. I feel like maybe you wish you would have learned faster what the lessons you've learned this last year, and you maybe feel like you would have been way more advanced in your life than where you are. But that's not worthy to, um, to even think of, because regret is a negative emotion. So just push back. That's where I would like you to push back and think about yourself in a positive thing about yourself, a lot of positive things about yourself, if you go into regret. So grief, wow, this is really sad. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So I don't know if it's friends you lost in your life, a love you lost in your life, a family member this last year, but you definitely lost something that very much broke your heart. I feel like I see the water emotion up there. The wisdom card to work so you had to work at something you really had to work to get over something and be able to feel happy again to go to want to feel like you want good times and you're back on your track and direction so wow 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 you you see good things and happiness are coming to you but you definitely had some pain this last year over I feel like somebody not giving anything back. Maybe it was more than one person. Maybe it was multiple people who just took. So the next one from the Dragon Wisdom is Avalon. This is beautiful. This is your happiness. This is the happiness, whatever you dream of. The Where the music you sit and listen to is divine, like what you ever you like. The weather is what you like. Um, your house is what you like. Just beautiful. I mean, this is where you've made it. You've persevered, and you've learned lessons, and you're at your happy place. You're almost there. You're so very, very close. You're so close. You're going to make it there. So air chalice. So air chalice is a lot of thought. So we see the air chalice go into the regret and the grief, which would be thought. So I do feel like you persevered around a lot of negative thoughts, and you did push forward around them. And the next one is death. Wow, so you let it go. You let it go. Whatever this was, whatever this hurt you, you decided the best thing for you to do was to let go of it. And you thought long and hard, Virgo, before you let go of it. Long and hard. You did not want to let go of it. You saw your happy place with whatever this is to you, a job, a relationship, a love. 
and you're still going to the happy place you're just not going with this job or this person that you were thinking you were going to get there with so the first one of the fantasy cats oracle card is feeling too i feel feeling all over this because of the water up here is a lot of emotion you persevered is all i can say you struggled through somebody like trying to break you if not if it could have been more than one person but somebody especially just um really took I feel like your energy your kindness and and didn't give anything back and they thought it was almost funny so then the next card is grooming number eight so you have a new cycle coming in you have new beginnings I do feel like you are starting something new you're starting something new a lot of thinking you have so many ideas for businesses it seems like businesses or money so then you have enchantment 15 which is virgo beautiful so see the white kitty um the white kitties here and then the white kitty in here something is coming to you because you let something go whatever you ended made you free to have abundance you had a lesson if not a few of them you had to learn this last year i feel like it was about people and your feelings and you learned the lesson and beautiful stuff is now coming into you this was a really good reading i don't want to stop so happy 8 8 2021 virgo bless you